Linus Tech Tips coverage of PAX 2013 is brought to you by Western Digital, Intel, and SteelSeries. Hey guys, I'm here with a company from the Netherlands called Lambeer with their game Luftrauser. Did I say that correctly? Yeah, Luftrauser. Okay, awesome. Um, this game is really interesting because it's like no other aerial combat game I've ever played. It's really, really hard to describe, actually pretty much impossible, but the main way I can do it is to say that you're flying around and you can instantly change direction by flipping because you have to activate your thrusters, whatever the heck you want to call it, your, the power on your plane, and then you can let go and flip around however you want and burst in another direction the whole time while shooting, the whole time while under attack. Playing this game makes you feel like an absolute badass, and when you're done, you feel like you suck because you didn't hit anything that you actually wanted to, and you didn't complete the goals you wanted to, but it's so much fun that you have to play it again. It's one of those games that you want people to watch you because you feel so badass while you're playing. Is there anything else you can tell me about this game? Well, no, I, I guess that is pretty, that is pretty much the, the idea of the game, is to make you feel like the best fighter pilot in the world. And then sort of make you realize that you're probably not. It's a game about mastery. It's about a game about getting better at something. Um, and it's, yeah, it's hard to describe the feeling of like changing momentum. It's a game that we've been working on for a while now, and to hear people get it like that is super exciting. That's awesome, and like he said, it's a game to get better at, that's for sure. Because the second I was done the first round, I wanted to play again. Because I was like, no, I can do that better. I, I know I can dodge that in a different way. I can flip this way and burst back, and I'll dodge that and kill this guy. And But then every time you jump back in, it's different. And the planes can be different too. There's a bunch of customizability. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, so there's 125 different airplanes you can build. You can change the engine, the wings, the weapons, and the body. And depending on the airplane you build, you have a completely different play style. Some airplanes can go underwater, some have homing missiles, some have lasers, some have body armor. So there's a whole wealth of, of airplanes you can build. Every one of them has a unique soundtrack and a unique name. So um, if you build a different airplane, the music for the game changes as well. Um, it's, really, it's really a way for us to sort of play around with how people play a game and also allow them to get better at something they like instead of just forcing them to do this one specific thing. So it's a fun thing, it's a fun thing to play around with, to experiment with. That's, that's so true because when I was playing, I played a few different planes, but my favorite one was, as you were saying, one that could go underwater and one that could shoot missiles because I'd, I'd jump out of the water, flip around like crazy and shoot missiles and then run away and get back underwater again. Yeah. And I found that to work really well for me, but who knows what'll work for you. There's 125 combinations, like you just said. You should definitely try them all out. How can someone get this game? So the game isn't out yet, but it's going to be out soon. It's going to be releasing on PC, Mac, and Linux through Steam. It will be available through the Humble Widget, and it will launch on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita simultaneously with the PC release. That's awesome. So you can pretty much get it almost any way you want, and you should because this game looks epic. And if you're one of those kind of people that play games with other friends, this is an awesome spectator sport game. Thank you for watching our content. If you want to see all the rest of our Indie Mega Booth content, if you want to see all the rest of our PAX content, be sure to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.